Hi, my name is Bruno Sade from BrunoSade.com. And today I want to talk about how to use CFT on the fear of death. And this is something that recently a few of my clients have told me they would like to work on. They'd like to feel less afraid of death or they'd like to feel more peaceful about death in general. So I thought I would make this video with some ideas of some areas to explore of how to go about doing that. Now, first of all, let me just say that this topic, the fear of dying, might be a sensitive issue for many people. So if you suspect that just by watching this video, you might get triggered, please feel free to stop watching if you want to. I'll try to keep it as gentle as possible, but I just wanted to give a sort of trigger warning before I start this video. And let me just say that when it comes to working on the fear of death or on any issue in general, as usual with EFT, in order to be as effective as possible and to keep our tapping as targeted and focused as possible, we want to go from the very global or general issue, fear of death, to specific events that might be contributing to that. So a very basic question is what life events or what events in your life might have led to your fear of death. So that would be a sort of starting point. And of course, some of those events might be traumatic events in nature, or they might be perhaps too emotionally overwhelming. So please, in that case, it might be recommendable to work on them with the help of a certified practitioner such as myself or someone else. But perhaps there might be some events that you might be able to work on by yourself. So basically, I think it can be very useful to try to pinpoint what are some of the specific fears that you have about death, and then from there to go looking for specific events. So let me clarify what I mean. First of all, if we think about two sort of major areas, we could think about the fear of death while we are still alive, like imagining the moments leading up to dying and the actual moment of dying on the one hand. And on the other hand, the timeless question of what happens after we die, the fears we might have around that are going to be influenced by our spiritual beliefs. So let's pick these two areas apart and see how we can come up with specific fears and specific events connected to those fears. Let's think about the moments leading up to when we imagine our own death the moments leading up to that. What are some of the specific fears that you have around that? Is it, for example, that I'm going to die all alone with no one by my side? And in that case, is there any events in your life that might have contributed to this? For example, perhaps someone in your family died that way, for whatever reason, died alone with no one by their side. And as you think about that, as you remember that, or come up with a sort of movie scene or mental picture of that taking place. What feeling, motion or sensation do you notice coming up for you now? And you can start doing basic EFT on that. Or you can even start with a future made up event, a future made up anticipated event of what would happen if the moment when I die, I'm all alone and there's no one there. And again, notice what are the feelings or emotions or sensations you notice coming up for you now when thinking about that and apply EFT to that. Because basically with EFT, what we do is we can diminish and release the unpleasant emotional reactions we have when thinking about these specific events that are keeping the whole issue, in this case, fear of dying in place. Now, perhaps another fear might be, what if dying is painful, is physically painful, perhaps because of an illness or an accident or something like that. And again, maybe there's someone in your life, in your family who died that way. Perhaps you have the memory of watching your, one of your grandparents being in a lot of pain at the hospital in the days leading up to their death. And again, maybe that's another potentially past event that can be worked on either by yourself or with a practitioner. It feels like it might be too intense. Or perhaps another fear might be, what if by the time I die, I still have some sort of unfinished business or, or I feel like my life wasn't really fulfilling. And again, you can come up with a future event, imagining seeing yourself, the look on your face, knowing that your life wasn't really fulfilling or that you didn't 
accomplish what you wanted to accomplish or that you are full of regrets and having on that sort of future made up event. Or again, perhaps there was someone in your family or a friend or someone that you knew who died in that way with many regrets or unfinished business. And again, those can be past events, table legs supporting the tabletop of the fear of death that you can tap on. And now when we think about this question of what might happen after we die, this is going to depend on each person's beliefs. But let's say that to believe in reincarnation and perhaps then the fear is, what if I'm stuck or punished by having to reincarnate into a worse life? And then again, you can come up with a future made up event of that taking place and tapping on how you feel about it now when thinking about it. Or maybe the question is, why do you believe that you would reincarnate into a worse life? Is it because of some sort of karmic punishment? And in that case, what events took place in your life that led you to believe that you would be punished in that way? And you can tap on some of those events. Maybe instead of believing in reincarnation, you believe more in the traditional idea of hell and heaven, like the afterlife. And in that case, is there any fear of what if I go to hell? And again, that could be a future event. Or what are some past events that might have contributed to this specific fear? Maybe there's a memory of being told by an authority figure in your life that you would go to hell or that if you misbehaved in a certain way, you would go to hell. And those are, again, tapable specific events. Or perhaps you believe that when we die, we sort of dissolve into nothing or we become one with the universe or something like that, but where we completely forget our memories and our identity, our ego dissolves. And that can be scary for some people. So again, that can be a future made up event or see if there are any movies you have watched where something that transpired. And as you remember watching those movies, is there any emotional charge? So basically you see how we can go from the specific fears around death and from there find either future made up events or past events that actually took place and tap on them as a way to one by one to diminish that fear of death that we might have so that we can feel increasingly more at peace with the idea of dying someday. So that's it for today. I hope this was useful. And I look forward to seeing you again in one of my next videos.